Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do a review of King's Forge by Starling Games. It's two or four players, ages 14 plus, 45, 45 60 minutes is what's the estimated time. Uh, I technically think it might be a little bit less, especially once you get to know how to play the game and the game just progresses fairly quick. Okay, so one thing I like about the game, it's a card drafting, dice rolling, push your luck type of game. And the components are really nicely made. Um, the board is nice and thick. The cards are well designed. The rule book is easy to understand, teach and learn. So just a great game. And so we're just gonna jump right into the review. Uh, for the rules, I would give it a five out of five. The rules are very easy explained. You have your game overview, components, setup, and you have your gather cards, craft cards, gameplay, gather phase. So you also have your craft phase, cleanup phase, win the game, and gather cards in detail. And so this gives a little bit more detail about some of the cards and how they interact. And credits. So I would give it five out of five uh, for the rules because it was easy to learn and teach. Uh, it really didn't take much long. It took us probably like 20 minutes to uh, figure out the game and just implement and play it. So five out of five in the rules. Um, as far as the components, I would give it five out of five. Great component. The board's nice and thick. Uh, the cards are well made. They're actually uh, not thin. You could actually, um, I call it shuffle them, where a lot of board game cards, um, they're not able to shuffle because they're so thin or the material that they're made out of. So great components. Uh, the dice are, are nice and little and they weigh very little. So uh, just overall five out of five on the components. Okay, the experience I would give it a four out of five uh, because it is a love based game and there's at times where you will roll multiple times, um, just, you know, you, you won't have that luck factor. And so with those type of games, um, the experience kind of uh, hair miss depending on your luck. And so experience four out of five, uh, but we thoroughly enjoyed this. This is our probably our best push your luck game that we've played currently. So great game. Uh, so for the mechanics, I would give it like a four out of five. Again, it's the luck base factor that uh, kind of dings it a little because you are determined, pre or your outcome will be dependent on your uh, dice roll. And so there's many things that, you, that really you can change with that. Um, you do have the little uh, one plus one. If you're the first person to pass, you could put your dice um, to buy the automatic six. Um, there are many strategies, so you can buy the three or put three, uh, the any type of dice and try to get the red one if you roll three or above or get the, uh, the metal if you roll uh, one or two. But it's, it's luck based. It's all determined on if you're going to get it or not. Um, this one, you put any two dice, you get the, the green. This one, you put a red and you will lose it and then the... Um, the whole phase and then you put any color and you are able to obtain black and blue. This one, you roll a die, if four or higher you get green. And you can also do these ones, which a lot of times are a lot harder or they um, add stuff to your dice, like plus two, or if you have a roll of one, it goes up to six or two to five. And so there's many things you do. There's a cemetery cards, um, that which is not in our playthrough. It, we just didn't, when we shuffle it, it didn't come up. And then you uh, roll for these, and that's how you're able to obtain them, and the first person to get four wins. So it's mechanics fairly easy, but um, just luck-based um, for the most part. So four out of five. Uh, replayability, five out of five. Highly replayable game, extremely fun. This is truly a great family game. 
uh, I would suggest anyone that is, uh, even, even if it's not like you're not in the hobby of uh, playing board games and you just want to collect some board games that will, uh, you know, you can introduce your family, have a family board game day, this would be one of the easier ones because it's so easy to teach, so easy to learn, and yet extremely fun. So five out of five in replayability. Um, overall total, I would give it like a four out of five just because of the luck base factor there is strategic. But um, like I said, the dice do play a, a big part of how your experience and the outcome and the whole uh, mechanics works. So, but just a phenomenal game. Love the design. Uh, truly our favorite push your luck game so far. Um, it's love the theme. It works extremely well with the, the whole game. And so if you like this video, please like and subscribe. My social media is going to be down below in the description. I'm going to have a link where buy the game. And if you have any comments, please leave in the comments section. We look at comments um, every one or two days. Uh, we try to respond as quick as we can. And um, just any, any comment, anything, then just leave it. And we'll see you in the next video.